Hi everyone, I'm back with another video and today I wanted to talk about a beauty trend that I am really excited about this season and it is those darker fall lip colors. Now typically when I wear any type of lip product, I like to stick with the more neutral, the more natural colors, the my lips but better shades. But this season I really wanted to try and branch out and use some of those berry toned, those really deep colors that I have in my lipstick collection and try those out. Some of the colors that I have here are still kind of sheer and they're subtle so if you're not used to wearing such a dark color on your lip you can definitely try out those first and try and get a feel for it or you can go for some of the more pigmented, some of the more intense colors that I also have in my collection and just jump right into the trend. The first color I have is from Clinique and it is their very popular Black Honey. In the tube, it looks really dark and it might be a little scary looking when you first see it, but it is more like a tinted lip balm. So when you swipe it, that's just, that's just about three swipes of this color. So you, as you can see, it's really sheer and it's, it's something that you can kind of build up to the color that you want it to be, but it's really nice because if you're not used to wearing such a dark lip lipstick shade on your lips, you can try this one out, see what it's like, kind of just put it on on the go. You don't really need a mirror for this, and it's extremely moisturizing. The next color I have is along the same lines of Clinique's Black Honey in the sense that it's kind of like a lip balm more so than a lipstick and it's really moisturizing and I'm talking about Revlon's Color Burst Lip Butter in Red Velvet. Now this color, as its name suggests, is a really nice deep red shade. And what I like about this, as opposed to some of the other ones that I have, though I do love pretty much all of the Revlon lip butters, is that this one leaves a really pretty stain on your lips. So even if you put it on um, and it's not going to last, like I said, it's more of like a tinted lip balm. This will still leave a really nice stain on your lips, and even if you don't reapply it when it wears off, I don't think it matters so much, just because the color that you end up with on your lips is still really beautiful and still kind of in that red shade. Now I really debated about whether or not I should show this next color because this line has been discontinued even though I actually have seen it at that Bed Bath & Beyond which is actually, which is where I got it. And I'm talking about the Revlon Color Burst Lipsticks. So if you couldn't tell they came back as the lip butters and I have it in the shade Plum. This is a really deep dark purple plum shade as the name suggests and like most Revlon lip lipstick colors I find this is still really creamy um, not drying on the lips at all and I will swatch it for you and I'll show you how similar it is to Revlon's red red velvet so I swatched them for you and plum is this color right here and then on top of it right there is red velvet so as you can see red velvet is sheer um but they're both still really pigmented still really close in color so if you do have this color definitely a perfect color for fall if not you can either get the lip butter in red velvet or i know that the regular um super lustrous line from revlon makes some shades that are really similar to this another lipstick that i really love is from clinique and it's from their long last lipstick line and it is in the shade Merlot. It comes in this really pretty silver tube and it's such a beautiful, beautiful warm brick red color that I think looks great on any skin tone and for me this is a color that I really love to wear. I love wearing this. I'll wear it to work, I'll wear it uh, while I'm out running errands, whenever I just kind of want a nice shade of red that isn't so vibrant and bright on my lips. I think this is a perfect alternative to that for the fall season. And it's just one that kind of reminds me of the cooler months and 
fall and winter and wearing it to holiday parties and things like that. Like the name suggests, it is more long-lasting than some of the other lipstick lines from Clinique and it is also really creamy, really moisturizing. I never feel like I have to apply um, lip balm when I wear this, which is a really great thing. The next three products I have are all from the same line and it's one that I don't really hear talked about so often and it is Buxom. Now this is part of Bare Minerals and I believe you can only get this at Sephora. And the one I have here, this is their Big and Healthy Lipstick in the color San Francisco. And what I love about this product in particular is that it is essentially a lip pencil and a lipstick all in one. So you just have it, it comes in this kind of like pencil formula and you just twist up which is, it's great because it's retractable also. It just comes out here, you don't, it comes with a built-in sharpener, I don't ever really sharpen it, I don't think you have to. Now another thing that I love about this Buxom lip line is that they have that minty, tingly feeling because they are supposed to kind of plump up your lips when you wear them. So if you're not really into that, you might not love these products just because they all seem to have them. All of the Buxom lip products I have have that kind of feeling and smell. Um, but if you are, I would definitely go to your near Sephora and check these out. These are really great. San Francisco is kind of that berry tone color, like a light berry color, which I think is a really nice, pretty shade for the fall season. Um, but even though these lip pencils are still really creamy, um, I never, again, I don't feel like I have to wear a bomb with this. I do still usually put a lip gloss on top of this one in particular just because I like the way it looks and the one that I use for this shade is in the color Dolly. It's also from the Buxom line. It's their big and healthy lip gloss. Now there's a swatch of Dolly right there right on top that you can kind of see it faintly. It closely resembles San Francisco which I really like because I actually only use Dolly when I'm wearing San Francisco from Buxom. I don't use this with anything else. I think the two are really great together and you kind of get double that feeling of that tingly sensation and that minty smell. The last color I have is also from Buxom and it's another one of their big and healthy lipsticks and it is in the color Tokyo. Um, this one compared to San Francisco has a little bit more of a red undertone to it whereas San, Fr San Francisco was a little bit more pink. This one's definitely a bit more red. As you can see it's right there in San Francisco is there right next to it. These shades are coming off a little bit lighter in on the camera than they really are in person but th I think this is so beautiful again for fall. It's not too dark but it's not too red either which is why I really love this color. I can't wait to wear it this season and during the holidays just because it's such a beautiful shade. So those are all the colors that I have to share with you today. Let me know what lipstick colors you're loving for this fall and I will see you next time. Bye!